All right, so this is a Trial of Earth 6 video, which is gonna, of course, apply to Trial of Earth 5 and below uh, as well, as far as your gearing loadout and your potential team comps. Um, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit from what I've used to pass TOE 5. I'm hoping it works um, and uh, I can get easier clears on this since uh, I am gonna be A2ing DK. I wanna get consistently good at Trial of Earth and I wanna be able to beat uh, TOE 8 um, on a regular basis. So I'm gonna try to do a descriptive video here. If I stop talking suddenly, it's because I'm concentrating uh, and I'll resume talking once I've gotten through the various phases and describe what it is I'm looking for and why I time things the way I do. But first, let's work on a loadout. So team comp and loadout is, um, oh, I already beat six. Okay, so this is a seven video, sorry. Um, this will apply to six and below. So uh, the bottom line is I was using Klaus, Haley, Loman, and DK. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove Klaus uh, and I'm gonna put in my Glenn. Um, Glenn is five star and uh, she brings a huge defense boost to the, to the table. It's not a damage reduction, um, but it is a defense boost. And I also three starred this earlier today, uh, which is going to amp damage and increase the defense boost and the attack boost even further. So I'm hoping that that will compensate for the lack of the 25% P damage reduction I'm getting from Klaus. Plus, I'm getting an even bigger amp with her five star in the form of 10% uh, attack increase um, and 20% crit increase. And then when it gets to four or max stack, uh, that gets doubled. So it ends up being a 20% attack increase and a 40% crit damage increase, which is a huge amp. Um, and then her soul weapon being a one is gonna amp defense and it's going to uh, also increase the attack of uh, DK 40%. Well, and Loman and Taylor's as well, but um, it's also gonna increase her defense, which is going to make her T5 Dark provide an even larger amount of uh, attack to the team. So I'm hoping that between the higher DPS I'll get with her, and the fact that she's providing a 150% defensive boost on this skill right here, uh, which would bring that to a total of 50,000 defense and 30,000 attack, um, or 25,000, let me think here. 100%, so that'd be 20, and then 50, yeah, so, 100, so it's 25,000 and 50,000 um, on her S3 now. So... Uh, I'm hoping that that defensive boost, the attack boost, all that good stuff will equal a really, really nice thing. Now I'm going to try running her with pure PDEF gears. Um, typically, I would not just do pure PDEF gears. I would do uh, a lot of P-block, uh, but I really want to amp that T5 dark. So I'm going to give her as much PDEF as possible. Um, and uh ooh, this is a tempting one i know he doesn't do any m dam but i don't think i have a four line p def let me see here that's life steal that's mana recovery on attack i don't have a, i guess i got to go buy one of those um that's fine i don't typically use glenn in physical comps, which is probably why I don't have it. I do have pure in-depth gears though, because um, I use her in World Boss a lot, um, and I use her in uh, Guild Raids. So we're gonna use this one instead, and um, it's gonna put her PDF up well over 300,000, and then with all these perks here, uh, that's another 25%, and then another 35%. Um, I'm really hoping that it will close the gap. And uh, that also frees up a perk on Loman as well. So um, I wish Transcendence Points were something you could buy in the game. So uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and reset him to 
this gearing right here and I'm gonna reset his his perks um, and uh, just go ahead and give him hit points actually increases the number of endurance stacked every one second so the last hit stuns enemies for five seconds and leaves on the damage damaging them for 15 targets that da, 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 take no that's not the one this one so i don't know stacks every second cannot be dispelled when stacked 20 times does it then start stacking again once it gets stacked 20 times it must it must because it's not going to be a consistent so we'll go ahead and get that stacking up quickly to quickly reduce his attack on the regular. Uh, then we'll do some damage amplification with this here. And uh, we will give him pure P-block gears otherwise. Okay, we'll do that piece of gear. And the shield does not need to have any stars. Just FYI. In Glenn's case, I wanted to have stars because that's M def, which is going to scale or T5 dark. But in everyone else's case, you don't need uh, you don't need any stars on the shield. So you're just looking for high P block lines, and um, you don't really need any dodge if you've got high enough P block. You want to have all your supports on P-Block. And I'm going to get into the next part of the strategy here in a minute. So that's a good one. And we'll use that one on him. And let's see, one last piece of gear. I don't think I have any five-star P-Block lines. Oh, that one's pretty good. It'll give him more hit points too. Because uh, you don't want to run any defense on Taylor. No defense at all. Okay, um, I'm going to put him on a, uh, let's see here. What did I have him on in my first video? I had him on crud and I'm not remembering. Did I have him on a stuck pump? I did. I had him on a stuck pump. we put him on a stuck pump and then we'll put Glenn on a helm. Although I'm really thinking because Glenn's got a lot more HP than he does. I think, he, I think he does. Yeah. But he's got stuff that scales off of attack. And uh, it'll be a bigger attack reduction on Glenn. That she's five star. I'll put the, the helm on him. But Glenn gets hit more frequently. So I'll leave the helm on Glenn. And I'll leave the stuck pump on him. But you want to run helm. You want to run stuck pump. And uh, then on Taylor, um, you want to run the ab crown, your best ab crown that you have. Um, and then nothing with P defense at all. I purposefully four starred this and didn't five star it to keep her P def lower than anyone else's. And then I just want our impure P block shield, and that'll do make sure I'll use this one instead because it's got that well now I want the life steal what the heck happened I gotta exit out it got all funky on me here sometimes that happens I'm gonna put her on the one with the life steal that Klaus was wearing so, taking a look at the stats, she's got 1160 P block. Um, oh, wait a minute. I had her on a hit point. I don't want her on a death ring. I want her on a, on a hit point ring. Here we go. You don't want her defense to be high at all. 41,000, okay? That's lower than DK's. So, as long as Taylor's 
Defense is the lowest, which is the first strategy. She'll be the one that gets the swift execution. And uh, because of her perk right here, um, right here, her S2 light, she's immune to damage. So there's a timing thing going on here. He's gonna spin a little thing around above his head. And when he lifts that thing above his head, that's when you need to fire this. Because that's when she's immune. Um, and it's while she's while it's charging. So if she's got a lower attack speed, which mine does, okay, um, you want it to have started charging while he's spinning that thing over his head. And then when she when he comes down onto the ground. She will be immune because it'll be charging in that moment. This is the UT you want to use on her. So if you're going to buy a UT for Taylee and you're getting Taylee for the purpose of trial of earth, this is the UT you want because it does exactly what Nikki does with an irremovable P block being fixed to zero, which is fired by her S1, which is the opening move you want to use on her. You want to fire her S1 right out of the gate and get that thing cycling okay so this does what gals does with his s3 dark and makes her immune and this does what nikki's does and makes him have a zero block okay this is the ut this is the skill set you can do this with a t3 taily people you don't need these if you get it it's nice the damage reduction uh from him towards you with this, and this right here increases the stacks of the power to Shuki tribe that she's gonna get, which uh, as you see right here, gather strength and delivers a big blow and then consumes all of that to increase all the damage that the target takes by 30% plus 2% per stack of power of the Shuti tribe, okay? It can be stacked up to 30 times. So that's when you want to fire it. Otherwise, don't bother firing it at all because it sucks up her mana and she doesn't have high mana attack recovery since you've been giving all her lines key block. Okay? This is the last one I need to ditch. It's got, even got defense on it. And I need to give her P block, which I'm going to give her from this one right here. Okay? So now her hit points are above 8 million which is where you want them to be when you're doing seven. Um, really six or above, you want them above eight million. I'm hoping eight million is enough. I may have to give her even more somehow and find P Dodge somewhere, but um, actually, she doesn't need P Dodge. I meant block. Do I have a rune that gives block? I have one that gives toughness and crit resistance. I honestly may want to give her this one, or not that one, that one, tough in recovery. That way her, uh, let's see if I have one with block, crit and block, no, crit and dodge, no, pen and block, no, pen and dodge, no, def and pen. I'm going to give her this one, tough in recovery, and I don't need to keep that. That'll increase her toughness a little bit. And uh, now she's at almost 2,000 P block, which is where you want her. And she's got 765 toughness. And she's got 27% recovery for that 270 life steal and that attack speed. So she should be in good shape. This is how you want her unique weapon to look as far as the runes. One line of P block def. And then hit your enchant options with the P block def since you can't get toughness from uh enchant scrolls you can only get that from there uh from from runes so hit these with the enchant option line these are uh, actually low level i'm gonna try hitting them a little bit with some reds and see if i can't get it up to 140. just a few hits i'm not going to do a ton but this is what you need to be doing you need to try to get her p block up her p block uh damage upon p block reduction um, as high as possible. It's pretty cool that you can get 140 from an enchant line and it's only 200 from a rune. So, there's one. I'll just do like six, six on each one. 
This is one of the best values as far as scrolls in the game goes, as far as the conversion. If I could get them all to 140, I'd put her on another P-Tough rune. Because I don't need as much P-Block reduction as I do toughness. It's so nice that they made it so that it only goes up now, right? I'll tell you, that is really nice. I'm not going to do the gameplay in this video because this video is getting pretty long. Um, I'm just doing the loadout and teaching you the mechanics of the loadout and why I do what I do and a little bit about the timings too. But once I'm in game, you'll have a better uh, representation of uh, what it is I'm dis discussing here. And you can always play my videos at 2x speed. You'll probably still be able to tell what it is that I'm saying. That way you can watch even more of my videos. <laughs> wow, come on, P-Block, reduction, drop. You get the point. This is what you're supposed to be doing. I wanted to get it to at least like 120-ish or something, but I'm not having any luck. Got a 7% attack, 7% hit points, which would have been great on some other characters. But damage reduction on P-Block seems to be a really rare drop ever since I started doing hits for it. And when I discovered that uh, you can get 140 from a red score. Man, I feel stupid throwing away all those... Man, man, I'm getting all these hit points and attacks. I mean, I don't need it, so... It sucks. Why can't I get those when I'm hitting on my DPSs and on my priests and on all that stuff? I never get this many attack and hit point lines when I'm hitting on a DPS. It's like the game knows when you're hitting for a tank and when you're hitting for a DPS or something. Make you use up more of your scrolls. This is just annoying. I'll do three more. One. Oh wait, four more. I'm bringing it down to an even number on the floor there. Two. Three. Come on, last one, best one. Put it right at 140, baby. Fuck. Okay, whatever. And then uh, I'll do five hits on this piece of gear. Just five people, I ain't gonna make you enjoy that again. Like I said, played it 2x. Man, what's up? Give me all these incredible attacks. Two in a row, what the hell? Max M death, max attack, max hit points. More hit points. Come on. Is that the fifth one? I want it to a multiple of five. One more. No, no such luck. Well, I'll hit those later, especially if I'm having trouble clearing this. But you get the idea. Um, if you can get this P block up around 500 uh, without this rune by making these lines down here all have damage reduction on p-block which this one does not have um if i got these to all 140 then that'd be a total of uh well, she's got base p-block defense right no oh she's got base p -tough. so i'd probably have to hit that one right because then i'd be at uh, 280 and 280 if i got them all to 140 which would put her at 560 which is more than enough you don't need to get them quite to uh you know, all 140, you can get them to like 125 a piece, and then that would be exactly 500, which is what you need. And then you can put another P-Tough rune on there, which is gonna be even better, especially since she's got base P-Tough. And uh, that'll be a huge damage reduction, okay? So just to recap on the gearing here, you got Loman on P-Block, really, really high P-Block in his case. Um, oh, I need to switch his rune page out. Um, so, 
you have them on 435 P block defense, which isn't quite enough, but I have to hit these in order to get those lines. Um, like that one's low. That should be that should be hit a few times. Um, actually, his P duck is particularly low. I have a feeling my boy Loman's going to be going down here quick, but we'll see. Um, and then Glenn is just on pure PDEF. A little bit of P block from uh, from here. Uh, no, wait, where's she getting? Oh, yeah, the 240 from there. So, but otherwise, she's on pure PDEF. A little bit of lifesteal, a little bit of attack speed, high mana attack recovery, because I want uh, this firing off quickly since it's. Uh, perked to five mana cost. Um, I don't know if this will work. I don't know if that's going to be good. I don't know if her defense will compensate. Remember, a successful block reduces the, the uh, damage of the attack by half. So, um, with her defense being three times that of Lomans, I'm assuming it'll work. So, Kaylee, a, mo a, a mixture of P block and hit points. Uh, Loman, pure P block. And Normally Klaus would be a uh, high defense and T-block, but I'm gonna try since all her UTs have uh, defense in them, and a couple even have P-def, to uh, just tank it with P-def so I'm getting more of a damage in it. And then lastly, your DPS. Now in my case, it's DK. Um, I know a lot of you don't have a DK, so ignore this if you don't have DK. Use your best warrior. Get her attack the highest, get her defense just above Kaylee's, and use your best warrior that you've got. Magic or physical, obviously a physical is gonna be better. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and equip this here. And, oh wait. Oh, I needed the crit. Although I may not need that crit now, which means, He's at 11.30. I don't need that crit because I got crit lines on his UTs today. That means I can put him in a very handsome max enchant attack that is right here. No. It's on Laudia. There we go. Boom. I still got over 1,000 crit. You want to make sure that your DPS is critting 100% of the time. I gave him the PDF right there. That way... When he gets the 15% from this, it'll throw him just over Taylor's, which is at 36. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I take this rune off, if I remove this, look what happens. 27. See? So that's why I had to put that PDF rune on him. Um but it's better to take 7% um, of an increase on his attack, which is at 531. I don't know what it will be in your case, um, but it's better to take 7% of that, uh, which is about 40,000, uh, than it is to take half of the 38,000 that he's got here. Now I get that he's gonna be taking a damage reduction too, um, so you may actually end up having to perk him with, uh, whoop, there it is. Okay. So you may actually have to perk him with this perk right here. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. You may have to perk him with this. I was even, I wasn't even talking about the right things. I don't perk him with this. These are my perks in Trial of Earth. High attack speed, high, high life steal. Damage reduction from this, damage amp from this, and gaining additional stacks more quickly. Um, but this probably isn't your DPS, so ignore what I'm saying. Now, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna try running him with Book of the Mad. Uh, that was not working before um, because he was dying too easily. But now that I've upped his uh, star level, excuse me, uh, the star level here, and then his ascension level, or whatever that's called, the 15. Last time I did it, he was at five. So he's got a lot more hit points. But I was running him with this. Um, but this here will give him another 8% damage. 
So it all adds up. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, you can see the gears here real quick. So crit on all these lines. Okay. So 200 from that and then another 360 and then another 120. Okay. And then he's getting a bunch of crit from in here. Crit 100, crit 80. So 180 from in there. And uh, he's got, you know, a base crit of 150. So he's getting 860 total from the gears. Um, you want him at that 1,000, okay? All right. Well, I'll start another video for the gameplay.